Hello, so we are on our letter Z this month, I mean this week, and we decided to make a zebra out of our letter Z today. So I'm going to show you how we did that craft. You will need a plain piece of paper, any color. And I have some scraps here, and that's how I'm going to make my letter Z. Um, and then I have some googly eyes. I have um, some black kind of scrap paper that I cut into stripes. Or you could use you could always use a marker. Um, and then I'm going to cut my nose out of this. I have my marker and my glue stick here. Scissors. So, first thing I'm going to do is make my letter Z. So, I have just kind of three rectangular pieces, and I'm just going to trim them down a little bit, and we're going to paste our letter Z on our blue background paper. And that's how we're going to start. Okay. I actually did this part um, for the kids. I just made um, pre-made my Z's just so they could um, glue it down and get started. So I knew they were excited to do the stripes. I'm just going to make this one a little bit smaller and I'm ready to glue. Okay, so I'm going to have my letter Z about this size. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And that is our first step. As long as you have the general shape. And we talked a little bit about zebras. They uh, are in the same family as horses and donkeys. We all thought they looked a lot like horses. And they come from Africa. And no two zebras are alike with their black and white stripes. So you, that's why you can do your stripes however you want, because no two zebras are alike. All right, here's my Z. Now that I have my Z, I ha I'm going to glue these little um, scraps of paper, or you can use your marker and just talk about the stripes, the general stripes, in whatever pattern you want. There's no right way to do it or wrong way. Some of them were going different directions. It's fine just as long as we got some stripes on there. Some of them were very close together and some not so close together, but it's all good. Another one there, and here are my zebra stripes. Now we need a face. So um, just another black little piece of paper, or again you could do a marker, and I'm cutting this kind of half square, half circle shape for his nose. So it looks something like, let's see, that. There you go. And then his nosy is going to go right on the edge there. 
And then we'll do our eyeball, a googly eye. If you don't have a googly eye, marker or black and white construction paper always works. And so I got my nose on, my googly eye. Put my eyeball on. And a little smiley, I think. And then, after you do your little mouth, we did some hair, like his mane. Like so. And there's my zebra. Face didn't turn out great, but that's okay. Perfect. And there is your Z for zebra. Have fun with this. And I will give you guys some more Z things. Let me show you one thing really quick that I did for today. So we're going to, you know, trace our letter Z today. And then we talked about some zigzags. So I made some just zigzags kind of going, you know, down, down, across, across, one slanted. Um, just for the zigzag shape that they can kind of color in. I'm just going to make copies of this and let them color that as an activity for Z. Um, and then, yeah, trace their letter Z as well for zipper. All right. So have fun with the letter Z today. And we will see you guys at our Zoom meeting. Thanks. <laughs>